Hey dudes, what is going on? So, just got done with track practice. That's why I'm looking like this little, I guess more athletic wear than I normally wear. But, uh, so I gotta, I gotta brag about how awesomely proud I am of the Junior High Scholars Bowl team. They had, or the, we had the uh, Rolla Scholars Bowl meet yesterday and both the varsity and the junior varsity took first place. Dudes, I was so excited. I mean, I get, I got to be the mediator or the moderator for uh, the JV, some of the JV uh, teams. And dudes, listening to our kids go at it, just all the knowledge, random information that they have, it's utterly fantastic. It makes me, sorry, I'm, I'm, moving i'm a mover when i talk but i i'm so happy with, for, with proud of those kids they they did fantastic it was i mean I, I think the varsity only lost one round and the jv lost none i mean my the round they had they there's the second round that they had me in was their final round and of course and they're sitting there and as their total just keeps increasing I mean, the other team is not increasing as fast as theirs. You can just hear it in their in their voices, like, "Oh yeah, it's this one, this one, this one." It got a lot faster by the end of the round. Of course, brought him, made it, gave him a, or made him make a few mistakes because they're going fast, and they're like, "Yeah, we got this, we got this." Next thing they know, they're like, I'm "Like, oh, that was the wrong answer." They're like, "What?" And and of course, it was also one of those they buzzed in too soon before I finished the question. And they lost, and they and they got it wrong, which means they lost five points because each correct answer is ten points. You buzz in before I'm done saying the question, and it's a wrong answer. They lose. They lose five points. So that that happened to them in that last round. But I mean, I think they ended the round with like eighty five points, and so it. I they did fantastic. I'm super proud of them. But no, dudes. This week is going fan freaking tastic, as you can tell by my language. I mean, the junior high did awesome last night, and I'm hoping they're in the, they're in Moscow right now at a scholars bowl tournament meet thing, and I'm hoping they're doing real well as 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 well. I mean, they they played really well against Moscow last night, and so I'd imagine that they would do they continue to do well in Moscow tonight. So, yeah. And they've got that going on. I will fill you guys in tomorrow when I know how they did. And then, and then Friday, we've got the girls round two of the substate playoff deal. We're playing Ashland in Fowler tomorrow, on Friday, which definitely think about going to that because, you know, I love these girls. They're awesome. I mean, I love all my kids, but... These girls, they're doing fantastic, pulling out the wins. Cannot wait to see how well they do tomorrow, or on Friday. So, but no, it's, this has been a good week. It's been a very exciting week, I, I suppose. So, but I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, because I've got to go run to Hueyden. Going to some, get some groceries and stuff like that. And while I'm there, I'm also going to grab some stuff to make puppy chow because tomorrow is the um sports banquet for for the spring basically for track they call it spring sports but it's track it's the track sports banquet because nothing else well nothing else here happens at that time there's no other spring sports for us so we've got that and i figure you know what i'm gonna make puppy chow because i've never made it i've eaten it a lot it's delicious but figure it would, be, it would be a good idea to make it. We just got to run home and see how many of the ingredients I need to get while I'm there. I think I need to get like every single one of them, except for butter and vanilla. And so that just leaves three other ingredients. Four, sorry, four.
Math, math, I can't do math. So, all right, dudes, I'm going to get out of here and get home because it is, it's about five o'clock and get out and just keep going. So catch you guys tomorrow. Okay, dudes, so I planned this very poorly and decided to start recording about two minutes before the bell was supposed to ring. I think I did the math right. I don't know. Bell's kind of ringing early, so I may even have to go on and kind of get away from this even sooner than I thought. But wanted to just hop on and say, again, I am super proud of the junior high uh, Scholars Bowl team. They went to Moscow yesterday. And both the varsity and the JV, they each got second place, which is awesome. I mean, granted, I am one of those people, if you ain't first, you're last. But at the same time, I love supporting the kids. And second place, that's nothing to scoff at either. I mean, I, I don't know how many teams were there. And I mean, I've been to the, some, of, I've been to several of the Scholars Bowl meets. And the questions that they ask are just completely out there that I'm like, man, I wouldn't even know that. And granted, math stuff, yeah, a little more difficult for me because math has always been difficult for me growing up. But even the history stuff, I'm like, man, that's stuff I haven't looked at since I was in high school. And so it was kind of, it's kind of fun watching them sit there talk and then, yeah, this is it. So, but no, I just wanted to hop on right quick and before the before the bell rang and say how proud of them I am. So, but no, nothing really much going on today. Going to have track practice and we've got the winter spring sports banquet banquet thing tonight. Should be should be uh, fun. There's always good food. I <sighs> disappointed myself because I went shopping yesterday for puppy chow, like I told you guys I was going to do, and. There was legitimately no Chex Mix. I mean, I went to both the grocery store and Dollar General in Hugoden. No Chex Mix whatsoever. I thought about driving to Elkhart, but I was like, well, I drive to and from Hugoden back to Rolla. That's 32 miles round trip. And I'm going to drive another 32 miles. So that's going to be 64 miles total. I was like, I am not wanting to drive that far. So, I did not make puppy chow last night. And, I mean, don't get me wrong. Peanut butter was insanely expensive. But inflation, stuff going on with Russia, and the fact that it's southwestern Kansas. And small town stuff. It's it's going to be a lot more expensive anyway. But, yeah. So, sadly, I did not make puppy chow. Maybe I'll make it. I mean, I'm planning on going to Amarillo. And I'll check prices and see what I can buy, what I can buy there. I might make puppy chow anyway, because puppy chow is delicious. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, get ready for class and quit talking. So that way, again, like I said, so I can get ready for class and get ready for the kids to come in. So catch y'all later. Hey dudes, what is going on? So here at the school is 10 o'clock at night, just got back from, excuse me, just got back from the sub-state game that the girls basketball team played in Fowler against Ashland. Unfortunately, the girls ended up losing, but they played a good game, stuck with it, through honestly no fault of their own. It was the loss that they earned or were served actually that's better way to put it was, was served there were so many calls and i and i understand refs are not gonna catch every single call that's the truth that i have come to realize as i've matured more or less <laughs> but matured as a as a coach Refs aren't gonna call aren't gonna be able to call everything. But when you have girls on the other team, for example, camping in the lane for a solid ten to twelve seconds, when you get three seconds in the lane and then you're then there's a turnover. Yeah. 
and just fouls that aren't called that are blatantly obvious. And as I've said before, I know nothing about basketball. And when it's blatantly obvious to me, should be blatantly obvious to them. So, but no, the girls fought hard. And that's that's one thing that I am so proud of those kids of. I mean, I'm, I'm not their coach. I would love to be, I would love to have a team that continues to fight as hard as they do, even when it's kind of, it's a hopeless situation type thing. I mean, they fought just as hard as they did at the beginning when it was 0-0 as they did in the end when it was like 43 to 11 they didn't they never stopped and so i'm so proud of those kids they they're wonderful girls and they keep fighting like that and there's nothing they can't accomplish whatever it is so but yeah just got back from from that um sitting here at the at the school probably i mean it's 10 o'clock i'm gonna head home soon but definitely gonna head home soon because it is gonna start raining here in a little bit and we we're driving through some of it kept spitting at us and there was lightning basically when we hit Hugeton. and so it's it's gonna be getting wet here soon i'd like to get home i mean Granted, it's not that far of a drive, but still. Excuse me. Goodness. Yeah, so I just want to, just want to get home. I want to give a shout out to my mother. She's a wonderful woman. I love her. She uh, sent me these bracelets in the mail. The, the card says, just because I love you. I mean, I love this woman. She's utterly fantastic i mean i try to tell her that i love her so much but i don't know if i really can express how much i actually love my mother i mean such a strong woman and i'm feeling emotional so but these these bracelets it's called it's a company called Z zox z-o-x and they make these inspirational bracelets bracelets they've got um biblical ideas in them like the it's like just having i picked up the blue one it, it's got a little card thing it says nothing is impossible and you flip it over on the back and it's got a bible verse for nothing will be impossible with god luke 1 37 and the other one the, the black and white one oh, Sorry, bad camera angle. It says, I am with you always. And it's Joshua 1.5, I will be with you. I will not leave you or forsake you. So, it's just super sweet of my mother. For absolutely no reason. The card says, just because I love you. And, yeah, just because I love you. So, I love my mom. She is wonderful. She is absolutely wonderful. Words cannot express how much I love my mom. I mean, same with my dad, but right now we're concentrating on my mom. So, absolutely love that woman. So, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, get home, because I'm going to go to Amarillo tomorrow, and it's going to be a longer drive, I mean, two and a half hours because i've got to i've got to get some stuff that i need gotta get it i mean i'm not just going down for a haircut i could get that here in town but i'm gonna get a haircut while i'm down there and just get some stuff that not even garden city has garden city or liberal have because that's just not what it's not what they have so all right guys catch y'all later hey dudes what is going on on this beautiful Saturday, first week in the March. Guys, today is just beautiful. It is a beautiful day. Well, officially, I think this video, this whole week is just going to be, I'm proud of my students 
because honestly, I'm, I'm about ready to call the video quits for the day. But I was leaving Walmart in Liberal that way ish. Granted, y'all don't know what way that way is south and southeast. But anyway, <laughs> I was leaving Walmart and family of one of my students comes walking in and today was regional science fair i would have loved to have gone and supported my support my students granted i mean it's not like a basketball game and you see one of the kids and they get something right so yeah go whoever no it's not that kind of support thing but still you'd want to be there but because of covid regulations they were like no we can't we're not gonna have people wandering around down by where the kids have their science fair boards and yeah and but then they had people crammed together in the auditorium i think they were over at, at liberal high and cr cramming the auditorium for the award ceremony and it's like huh because that makes sense but anyway dudes all of the Raleigh kid, the Raleigh kids that were there, are going to state. Yeah, that's just incredibly awesome. They're all going to go to Topeka. I'm really not sure when state is, but they that that's just incredibly awesome. I mean, I'm so proud of the, of the work the kids put in. What the girl whose family I ran into. She basically helped her boy, basically did her boyfriend's board for her. <laughs> and so I was like, all right, what uh, place did you get for him? What place did you get and what place did you get for him? She's like, well, I got second and then he got, I, his board got first. And so I looked at her and I was like, yep, you got one and a half place. One and a half is place. So and she's like, yep, one, one and a half place. Her parents were laughing because it was, it was funny. Just, <sighs> That's just the kind of community you got here in Raleigh. So, oh, nice. Sorry, I know I, I keep looking over my right, your y'all's left, because I keep hearing. I mean, the leaves are rustling, and thought I saw some movement out of the corner of my eye. Must have just been a leaf. I looked over, and looks like a hawk got another dove in my front yard, because there are feathers all over the place. I mean. It looks like, for those of y'all who are old enough to remember, Shrek, the very, the very first Shrek, when Fiona's singing to the birds, to that, to that mother bird, and she sings so high that the bird just explodes and just poof of feathers. That's what it looks like. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty cool. I'll be, I'll be entirely honest. I mean, mammals got, or not mammals, birds got to eat, creatures got to eat. That's what I was going to say. It was creatures, not mammals. I, I know birds aren't mammals. They have feathers and lay eggs. So. But I'm going to go ahead and call it. Because I got... Well, actually, I got all the groceries put away that I really need to. But I just got some stuff I got to start doing. Got to do some laundry. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. So. Ooh, next door neighbors. So, um, there you go, there's flesh. Um, I will catch y'all in the next one. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe, and y'all keep living your best lives. Peace out, Girl Scouts.